What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot, here where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual juice. I'm your spirit guide host, Miss DC. And today, you guys, we are back with another general reading for the collective. Please understand this will not apply to every single individual, as every single individual is not going through the same scenario. Cross watchers, anybody who this video is for, cross watching for you, you're more than welcome to join in, tune in. But please utilize this information for the most positive purpose spirit so many talk to you so i will be talking to you guys with of course my kipper and also you know what i'm gonna do this one again my um ingromancy apocalypse two deck i'm gonna do this one hold on y'all y'all my apologies i completely forgot where I left off. Okay. So um we just gonna get into the reading for the collective. Because I swear <laughs> I do not remember where I left off. So y'all can look on my um other videos for the intro. I just had a whole unexpected conversation. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Who is this for? Somebody's journey might be turned upside down. I feel like it came out like this, more upside down. So, but somebody might be going somewhere. Somebody's traveling maybe for 10 days. I see um, F.W. Baker. Sounds like a country name or something. Maybe somebody's going in the country. But I feel like Somebody's traveling somewhere. And either whoever's traveling is concerned or somebody is concerned about this travel. I feel like somebody is concerned about somebody traveling. Somebody is concerned about some. I feel like somebody is concerned about traveling. Somebody. Y'all stop playing. Y'all stop playing. What did I just say? This happens almost all the time. So by now we should not even like I know what I'm talking about. So this is for somebody. Somebody is about to travel somewhere, okay? And and there's a lot of people traveling right now. So this could pertain to anybody that's traveling or even thinking about traveling, may have traveled. So, you know, this can be anybody's experience. Now, somebody is about to travel. And I feel like the, I feel like the person who's traveling is the one that's kind of concerned. Maybe this isn't something that this person does all the time, or maybe it's where they're going to, that I feel like somebody is nervous. Somebody is nervous about going somewhere. Somebody is definitely going on a trip. I feel like the trip is like long, term, not long term, but like in the last video I did, somebody was going on a fucking cruise. Like this would be one of those. And it might even be a carryover to the same situation. I don't know. You know, it's for the collective. So yeah, somebody expects something. I feel like somebody expects something when, okay. So somebody is traveling somewhere. And I feel like when they get to where they're going, they're going to see somebody that has expectations. Somebody has some expectations, maybe uh, surrounding this trip, like somebody is, or, or, okay, somebody is expecting someone. So I feel like somebody, so you or somebody else is about to travel somewhere. Wherever they're traveling to, somebody is expecting them. Somebody is awaiting their arrival. Somebody's awaiting your arrival. 
But I feel like to some degree you're nervous about this. It's kind of like, I feel like somebody is nervous or concerned. Maybe they feel like, it's like, I feel like somebody knows something is going to happen, but it's like they don't know for sure if something is going to happen or vice versa. If you, <laughs> all right, bottom of the deck, y'all. See, so somebody, somebody is going somewhere with a group of people. They're collaborating. They're going on a trip with a group of people. Okay, so if you're not going on a trip, with a group of people, maybe two or more people, then this is not for you, okay? Whoever this is, they're going somewhere for like 10 days or, but they're concerned about a fight. So somebody is going somewhere with someone for an extended period of time, I feel like. Yeah, like somebody might, something from maybe about eight to 10 days, this trip is going to last. And I feel like somebody is concerned about an argument or a fight. I feel like, so it's like going somewhere with somebody, but you and this person really don't get along. Like somebody that you just kind of, maybe somebody that you argue, it, it's like if you go on a cruise with your cousins and it's one cousin and you it's like one the one cousin that you and them don't get along and y'all are kind of like bickering back and forth the whole time you all are on this trip you know what i'm saying like like i'll give you an example i went to las vegas right with a group of girls we are all you know friends some friends family and we went to Vegas. Now, when we went to Vegas, my friend, it was her birthday and she wanted to go and see the Michael Jackson Circus Soleil. So she had an entire layout of everything that we were going to do. Like she had an itinerary. Everything that we were going to do was planned. So ev and everybody got this before we actually got there. So we knew what we were going to be paying for. We knew you know, how much things were going to cost. We had an average amount, like she planned everything out. You know what I'm saying? And we were well aware before we went on the trip. So we paid our money for the rooms. We paid our money for um, our tickets because we had to pay for our tickets or whatever. And then when we got there, we had to pay for our own shit. Now, it was eight of us that went. Out of eight of us, only four of us, me and three other people had money. The other people really didn't have money. It was four other people. They really didn't have no money. So they really couldn't do anything. So me and the three other ones, we went to this little restaurant and the restaurant was like $40 a plate. And so it was like, you can, it was like a buffet kind of style, but it was supposed to be one of the most pop popular seafood places in Las Vegas. And on that strip, because it was on the strip. And so the problem was the four people that really didn't have no money ended up going to Burger King that was there. And we're looking like you came all the way to Vegas to eat Burger King because they didn't want to spend the $40 on the plate. So it's just kind of like, you know what I'm saying? And then not having no money started arguments because it's like, man, we supposed to all be going and enjoying and y'all sitting here off over there on your phones, you know, or just sitting in a room or just sitting in the in the pool, you know, that's open 24. You like y'all aren't doing anything that, you know, would call would cost spending money. You know, even drinking and stuff, they couldn't really drink a whole lot either. Like they couldn't really play at the casino. And you know, whereas the other ones of us, we had kind of saved up money to go on a trip. So, you know, like I said, we had a breakdown. So this is one of those situations where it's like the because of this somebody might not have no money i feel like i'm not picking up money but i feel like somebody might just be concerned about bickering the entire time yeah somebody i feel like somebody might be putting their foot down and making a decision to just do something solo maybe somebody wants to just do something solo it's like I feel like a group of you might be arguing or like it's not really or either that or it's not that many of you in a group. 
it's not that many of you in a group, but I feel like you're concerned about like arguing and debating. And it's like, I don't, I, I didn't come here for that. Like, you know, I'm gonna just do my own thing and y'all can do, y'all do whatever y'all want to do. Cause I feel like you're going to, okay. So whoever you're meeting, when you get where you're going, it's going to, they, they either, they expect, I feel like you both kind of expect an unequal give and take. Like, I feel like something is just not, something isn't going to go right. It's like, oddly enough, there's just something. I feel like maybe somebody got the hint at the last minute. Somebody got the hint at the very last minute. Whoever there, whoever has these expectations or whatever it is, they, I feel like they, maybe they expect this to go the wrong way. Maybe because they see you in this energy of like, you know what, fuck all of this. Like, so let's say all y'all in a group chat. It's like, you know what, and y'all are messaging back and forth. I feel like this might even be a group chat. It's like maybe you all are you all are all on a group chat. So if you all decide to go your separate ways on wherever this is, like you could be flying somewhere or traveling to another city, another state, um, out of the country. Like everybody's traveling right now. So, you know, it might be a situation, like I said, where you're going for an extended period of time, maybe a a, a weekend, but you have to be around whoever this is. Yeah, like you have to, you all have to work together or, you know, maybe you, I feel like you all, I feel like you all are, I feel like you all are there together. Or maybe, maybe somebody is funding this trip. Like maybe one person is paying for this trip. So somebody is paying for this trip. Somebody is a big spender for this trip, either you or somebody else in the group. I feel like there's one person in the group that is going to be paying for all of this. Yeah, this is going to irritate the fuck out of somebody. So yeah, it's going to have somebody thinking like, what the fuck? Like, I feel like whoever, whoever you're going to meet or whoever has these um, expectations, they're doing some deep thinking, like, or both of you all are doing some deep thinking. But I feel like this is going to piss somebody off. We have the three of clubs. This is a collaboration. This is partying together, coming together, you know, working together, whatever it is that you may need to do with a um, at least two or more people. Like, this isn't something that you're doing by yourself. And whatever it is has to do with money. Maybe you have majority of the money and on this journey but why would you be mad when you have money why would you be mad when you have money why why do there need to be arguments when you have money maybe because somebody let's just see what let's just see what this next card gonna say you're emotionally attached to whoever this is or you're emotionally attached to Oh, so maybe you're emotionally attached to your money. So like losing your money don't make you feel good. Like losing your money is like, oh my God, y'all. Wasn't this the card that was just turned over? Stuck, stagnant. See, see, somebody is going to, somebody might be thinking real heavy about losing their money. I feel like somebody's going to lose their money. They're emotionally attached to their money. Because you work, you know, you work for your money. You worked hard to save this money up so you could go on this trip. And it's like, you feel like maybe you feel like you wasted your money. Like, I feel like you worked really, really hard for this money and for this trip. But you in this really ignorant energy right now. Like you're ignorant behind the money. And that's how Scorp Scorpios are. You could be a Scorpio, um, Virgo. We got the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got the Three of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
We got a fire sign here, wands energy, Virgo. I'm picking up heavy Scorpio energy. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. I got heavy Aquarius. Pentacles here. I mean, you could be dealing with any sign, but with this Ace of Cups here, I'm picking up heavy Scorpio plus with this Three of Cups. Oh, that's sad. But it could be any sign. I feel like somebody... And I feel like somebody is like, damn, like I would have paid for you. Somebody is like, I would have paid for you, but like, cause we, I, I feel like somebody is saying we're supposed to be cool. Like we family or, you know, if you're with a partner, you my honey, you know what I'm saying? Or I would have, I would have paid, but like, that's what I feel like. Yeah, I feel like somebody wants to just, I feel like somebody might want to be in charge. Somebody really, I feel like, yeah, somebody wants to be in. No, not right now. Somebody wants to be in charge. Yep. Yep. Somebody wants to be in charge and they're going to lose something of major value. It's like, okay, be careful what you ask for. You want to be large and in charge. And guess what? You will be, but that comes at a price if you're not paying attention. And you know what I learned the other day? Don't take too long to learn your life lessons. Like that's something that, and it just kind of stuck with me. When you know that you're supposed to do something other than what you're doing and you just choose not to do it, like there comes a point where it really is too late. You know what I'm saying? Like situations that maybe you could overturn or situations that you could change. It's like, if you take too long to learn your lesson just because you want to hold on to the materials of the world or you want to just, take that life risk because that's what it is. It's like, excuse me, y'all. So it's like, you want to take that risk. And since you get away with it, it's like, well, once I do it a couple of times, I can duck and dodge, you know, and get better at it, which you do get better at it. But that also comes at a really big price everything and the more you have the more the more the 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 how does it go the more the risk the more the reward like but the greater the risk the greater the consequence as well you know what i'm saying it works both ways so i feel like somebody asks to be in this particular position i want to be the boss i want to make the decisions i want to do this and that comes at a price, unfortunately. Look, nine of wands in reverse. You can't make it up. Stuck, see? You stuck giving to somebody. You stuck having to give to somebody, but it's an unfair, look, it's an unfair give and take. This is really going to wound somebody. This is going to be, I feel like this is going to be a really big loss for somebody. Like somebody is going to, I don't know why in the last reading, something is going to happen to somebody's wrist, their hand, something I feel like is going to happen to somebody's wrist. Y'all watch out for your wrist. Somebody needs to watch out for their wrist. I feel like they're going to get stuck. Something is going to get stuck. Like it's only a matter of time. Something, it when you, listen, when you go on this trip, you better protect yourself. That's all I'm going to tell you. That's, well, that's not all I'm going to tell you, but protect yourself. It's only a matter of time. And if this is a, if this is a water sign, let me say, if this is a water sign in particular, Water signs are very much intuitive. So if you feel something, nine times out of 10, that's what it is. If you're a pinnacle, you're really, if you're a pinnacle or earth sign, you're literally going to play this situation out. You're going to play the situation out. You got it in your mind. You're going to play this situation out. 
and i feel like you've made a plan and you're gonna you're gonna do this if you're a water sign you're very intuitive so you're already gonna know what to do and a fire sign if this is a fire sign you're just gonna act on that shit you know what i'm saying you're just gonna act on it so like i said i feel like something is going to happen an unfortunate event is going to happen See, you're going with, you're going with, you're going with a lover and friends. Somebody is giving love to someone. See, somebody is going, th this person is, you're going with your family or you're going, yes, you're going with your family or you're going with someone who would be considered a romantic interest. Somebody you might be married to. You're definitely going with a group of people that you are involved with. So like I said, this could be you, your boo, and like a bunch of other people too. Like maybe y'all friends, maybe it's a group of friends, and other two others. So it could be like triple dates. These, a guy and a girl, a guy and a girl, and another guy and a girl. Like it could be a situation. It's I feel like it's a group of people. Maybe it's a couple cousins, a girlfriend and a boyfriend. Like it's a situation like that. Whoever this is. And it's like, damn, I would have given you the money or I, I would have paid for it or I would have did something if maybe you just asked, but we got the world, something is ending. Somebody is coming in, yeah, very emotional, a very emotional, trying to detach from this. I feel like somebody is in a, um, somebody is in like a family type of situation. Like somebody is trying to give love to a situation only to detach from it. It's like, I'm going to do this while we're on the trip. I'm going to hold on while we're on the trip. I feel like that's what somebody might be saying. Yeah, somebody's trying to hold on to something and, and rebuild or reconnect. Maybe in a different way. I just feel like, yeah, if you don't, you better. 